Hello and welcome back to my studio. This is uh, this is Jim, and um, I'm glad you could join me today for this next sketch. I'm going to do another watercolor and ink uh, drawing using um, a photograph of a cottage that I found on Pixabay, and uh, I kind of liked uh, I liked the look of it, so I thought I'd give it a try as a drawing. And I also bought some uh, new paper to draw on. It's a multimedia, um, I, I think it's uh, 200 grams. I've put all the uh, particulars or the details at the end of the video if you want to see the, uh, the exact name of the paper I'm using. But I really, um, I liked the first um, try of this paper and um, how it took the watercolor as well it was very nice. So I've sped this video up two times the actual speed that I did it. Uh, in order to make the video um, overall a little shorter. But I may try uh, one in real time next time. It, it only adds about uh, maybe five minutes to the video length. So um, if you could tell me in the, in the comments um, what you prefer. Um, do you prefer a sped up uh, drawing um, or real time? And um, of course you can always uh, speed up wh while you're watching the video. But I'm, I'm just wondering if the length of videos uh, deters some people from uh, actually um, clicking on it and uh, watching it. So anyway, um, uh, I'm more concerned with the viewers I have now, so um, please let me know what you think and how you, how you like the, uh, the format and how, how it's going. Again, I'm using the uh, Pilot Fountain Pen, and uh, it, it uh, went very smoothly on this paper, which I'm quite happy about. It's a fairly simple um, setup as far as. Uh, composition and uh, perspective. Um, the cottage is just about face on. Uh, the ends of the roofs are uh, going up at, at an angle. Uh, but as long as you get that correct or close to, then um, there's not too much in the way of perspective to worry about in this one. I've simplified uh, the trees again, but I did do the uh, fence in the foreground um, in, in the detail that I see it in the photograph because I thought that was an important part of the, the whole composition, the whole picture. Not sure where this cottage is or uh, anything about. Uh, I don't know anything about the uh, the people that uh, live there or whatever. But as one uh, viewer said, it's uh, you take you take the picture and uh, you can put your own story to it. One nice thing about uh, looking at a small drawing like this, or a photograph of the uh, the building, you can let your imagination run wild and uh, imagine stories of the people that uh, own it or 
lived there. It's kind of a nice part of the art, is the background. The background story, that is. Now the building is uh, probably made of a stone with a whitewash over the top of it, so I just uh, gave a few uh, indications of uh, what it may, may may have been made of without without doing every single stone. And because the uh, the surface of the the cottage is white. The shadows are uh, are quite important to give it kind of detail and interest. So first I put those in with the ink and then after I will uh, make them stronger with the watercolor. these uh, drawings, uh, I do them uh, so that they could stand alone if you wanted to do them just as an, a pen and ink drawing. Or if you wanted to go to uh, coloring them with uh, watercolor or whatever, then they could also stand up as uh, a, different, uh, a different kind of drawing, painting. So it's a matter of preference. A lot of times I just like the pen and ink. Same with the photography. I've, uh, I've always enjoyed uh, black and white pictures as well. Some, sometimes you just don't need all the added complication of colors. throwing a, a few birds flying around. This was the first test of uh, this paper with uh, watercolor, and I was quite happy with how it uh, held up. And this this drawing pad is um, titled uh, an ink and uh, ink wash type of uh, paper, so I quite expected uh, watercolor to, to take to it well.
I chose to put the background trees uh, in kind of a bluish, bluish shade so that they recede into the background. And then for a little difference, add some yellow into the grass that's uh, closest to us. Many times I struggle with uh, the colors, uh, adding color to a drawing or a painting. Especially when I'm kind of making it up like this and uh, trying to make it interesting. But I find most of my paintings that have a, a good variety of colors, like the blues, reds, greens, yellows, a little bit of everything that uh, does make for a nicer picture. You notice the windows are different sizes on this cottage. Now, uh, if you hadn't seen the photograph, you'd probably think I, I made a mistake and didn't do the, uh, the right-hand window the right size, but um, from, from what I can see in the photograph, that's the way it is. I'm sure there was a reason for that, not making them both the same size, but um, I don't know what that is. And just making sure I put some the shadow color in as well over the ink work that I did. Same as the stones on the building, the walls. I, I didn't want to put every single shingle in, um, or tile, I guess they would be called. But I'm, I'm thinking um, the little dashes of ink, plus a little bit of different color like this, gave the effect um, that I was looking for. Try to keep it simple without getting into super detail. Anyway, thank you for stopping by and uh, come again. Take care.